so we're here with the Cascade Rescue gliders for aerial evacuation of ski lifts and gondolas. These are both meant to access and traverse the cables, making an evacuation of a chairlift or a gondola possible from the towers on all the ski mountains. So this is the cable glider. The entire weight of this system is about 15 pounds. You basically have the shiv rollers and a cable capture device here. So it can lock onto the cable and then your weight cams this into being a self-braking system. With the Harkin Micro cam cleat on it, you can lock it off such as like a parking brake for hands-free once you're up at height. The brake pad then will just compress the cable between its pad and the shivs, making everything come to a nice stop. The brake handle has really nice control for traversing these cables. So to push to go, pull to stop. With the down tube and the bicycle seat, it makes it really nice and comfortable to be on for extended periods of time. There is a little drop down extendable foot rest tube, if you will. This is called the hang glider, whereas this is the cable glider. And just like the name would suggest, you're hanging in suspension when you're using this to traverse the cable. If you have a situation where your towers or your shiv trains are harder to get around, then something that's more compact like this seems to be a better option. Both of these are constructed out of high-grade aluminum and titanium, making everything as light as possible and maintaining as much strength as possible. The real benefit of the lightweight construction of these is I can extend my arm out with the full weight of the, the device and I can move it around the tower and articulate it where it needs to go with relative ease. Previous generations of cable gliders or anything to traverse different ropeways or cableway systems would have weighed at least twice as much as this, stressing the rescuer and slowing down the response time. Other products where you're using something like a roll cab or basically a single shiv to ride the cable, you then need to control your motion with either a set of ropes that you're rappelling on or someone else is controlling your motion. These allow the rescue staff to move independently along the cable and start to conduct a rescue or an evacuation as quickly as possible. With a large uptick in the audience that come out to ski mountains in the summertime for either sightseeing, mountain biking, other, you know, seeking adventure otherwise, we're seeing a lot more traffic in the gondolas and on the chairlifts. And it's a year-round thing, uh, so the, the rescue preparedness needs to stay in a, in a year-round cycle of being prepared and be able to get to the gondola cabin or to the chairlift in an acceptable amount of time to start conducting an evacuation if need be.